Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Phil Barger, the director of the Center for Adults with Congenital Heart Disease. And the title of my talk today is Protein Losing Enteropathy After Fontan Surgery. What is this? So as all of you know, the Fontan operation is the final surgery in a series of surgeries that's designed to help folks born with single ventricle. And the ultimate result is that blue blood is returned to the lungs, bypassing the heart. And this is to both reduce stress on the heart, as well as to improve oxygenation in the blood. However, after the Fontan operation, there's no longer a pump that pushes blood through the lungs. So what happens is that the blood pressure in the veins that are now leading to the blood vessels that feed the lungs rises in order to compensate for the absence of a pump. This leads to congestion in organs and blood vessels that drain into those veins. So this could include an organ such as the liver, as well as the lymphatic system, which is a parallel system of blood vessels separate from arteries and veins. And we'll talk more about the lymphatic system in a minute. Dysfunction of the lymphatic system seems to be an intrinsic component of what we're talking about today, protein losing enteropathy and the related problem of plastic bronchitis. So on the left is a diagram of the lymphatic system. So we can ask, what does the lymphatic system do? The lymphatic system is made up of lymph nodes, shown here as the white dots, and lymph vessels, shown in yellow, that drain fluid from tissues. This fluid can carry a variety of materials, including toxins, immune cells, and waste products that are taken to the lymph nodes for processing. The lymph vessels then return the filtered lymph fluid back to the bloodstream. Under normal conditions, this fluid only travels in one direction, away from the tissues and up into the chest where it reconnects with the bloodstream. In protein losing enteropathy, lymph fluid flows backwards from the liver into the gut. This may be related to that high pressure that I mentioned that occurs in the veins that the lymph vessels drain into, creating back pressure in the lymphatic system. So protein losing enteropathy. This is still an incompletely understood problem after the Fontan operation. However, the reversal lymph of lymphatic flow from the liver into the gut leads to loss of proteins from the blood into the gut. And one of the main proteins in the blood is called albumin. We can measure levels of albumin that circulate in the blood and see when it's normal and when it's low. Albumin has a number of jobs, but in addition, acts like a sponge to keep fluid in the blood vessels and out of the tissues. Therefore, when albumin levels fall due to loss in the gut, fluid stays in the tissues and builds up due to not being cleared through the lymph system. This is a type of lymphedema, which you may have heard of in other situations. So patients with protein losing enteropathy, which we call PLE, can have swelling or edema in the legs, the abdomen, the chest cavity, and even in the skin all over the body. So let's discuss treatment of PLE. Since this problem is incompletely understood, a variety of treatments have been applied with unfortunately inconsistent success. Some providers have advocated for a high protein diet as a way to counteract the effects of losing protein in the gut in PLE. Sometimes we bring patients into the hospital and give them an IV and actually infuse albumin into the bloodstream as a way to pull fluid from the tissues. Occasionally, we employed steroids. Steroids are anti-inflammatory drugs, and in this case, we are trying to reduce inflammation associated with problems in the wall of the gut. And so sometimes we use a more gut-specific steroid called budesonide, or we may use a general steroid such as prednisone. Sometimes we infuse heparin. Heparin is normally used to prevent blood clotting, but can also serve as a building block to materials uh, in the wall of the gut that restores the integrity of the gut wall, thereby reducing loss of protein. 
Sometimes we use high doses of a drug called spironolactone. This drug works by blocking a hormone that affects both blood pressure and water retention, thereby helping us pull fluid from the body. We can use drugs like sildenafil to lower resistance to blood flow in the lungs. Sildenafil works by dilating or increasing the size of the blood vessels in the lungs, therefore reducing the resistance to blood flow in the single ventricle patient. Octreotide is a drug that blocks a number of gut hormones, uh, thereby reducing or leading to a reduction in lymphatic flow and therefore reducing the loss of protein in this situation. Occasionally, we create a fenestration or a window between the Fontan circuit and the heart, which allows blood to go from the Fontan directly to the heart, not through the lungs, and it lowers pressure in the Fontan uh, system. Some of the single ventricle patients may have actually had a fenestration uh, placed by the surgeon at the time of the Fontan surgery, and this is to allow the body to get used to this new Fontan physiology. And then later on, we may have closed that fenestration using a catheter. So in this situation of PLE, we may, to, we may need to go back in with a catheter and sort of reopen that fenestration to lower the pressure. More recently, uh, novel catheter-based closures of these abnormal lymphatic vessels uh, have been described uh, by uh, folks at Children's uh, Hospital of Philadelphia where they actually take a catheter, get into these lymphatic vessels that are draining inappropriately backwards to the gut, and they can plug those up, thereby stopping this abnormal lymphatic flow and reducing the loss of protein. And then finally, sometimes the only solution for PLE is to perform a heart transplantation, thereby restoring a pump that can bring the blood back to the lungs. I want to touch briefly on plastic bronchitis. So I mentioned that protein losing enteropathy is associated with abnormal lymph flow into the gut. And this is a situation that's associated with abnormal lymph flow into the lungs. The lymph material gets into the breathing tubes and forms rubbery casts of the bronchial tubes. And here's a picture of one of those casts uh, over here on the right. So patients that have plastic bronchitis can present with shortness of breath and wheezing, a lot like asthma, and sometimes they even cough up these rubbery casts. So treatment for plastic bronchitis includes conventional medications for asthma, direct removal of the casts by putting a scope down into the breathing tube and sucking them out. We can use steroids very similar to what we do for PLE. And we can perform catheter plugging of the lymph vessels also as we use in PLE. So in summary, protein losing enteropathy is a rare and difficult to treat complication following the Fontan operation that leads to fluid buildup in the body. This can occur in children and adults. The causes of PLE are still poorly understood. Therefore, research into this problem is ongoing and very important. And I want to highlight research by Dr. Gwendolyn Randolph in the Department of Pathology at Washington University School of Medicine. She is a world's expert on lymphatic function and is currently developing clinical studies to look specifically at the root cause of dysfunctional lymph flow in patients with PLE. So if you are a patient or family who is interested in participating in clinical trials, uh, stay tuned. Uh, more information will be coming, hopefully, in the very near future. And I believe that we're going to take questions later in the question and answer session. Thank you for your attention.